Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. So on today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing, creating a face framing bob, which is going to be bang on trend for 2023. And I'm going to be showing you how to do it, a salon version. Uh, it is super simple. And if you are after a way to rejuvenate the bobs you already do in salon, or if you have clients coming in and they want something a little bit different, something a little bit fresh, something that's going to reinvigorate and open up their face, this is the haircut for them, but also for you to learn. Before we get into it, if you see down the bottom, there's a join button. If you click the join button and you want to support the channel, I will uh, appreciate it very, very much. But it's a way that I can continue to create videos. And also I give you extra content, extra behind the scenes. Uh, you get to do lives and then you also get your own PWH emojis. Paul Watts hair emojis. So, yeah, there's different levels, but... If you, uh, you want to check it out, check it out. If you don't, continue to support me by just watching, liking, and hitting that subscribe button if you are new. So yeah, let's get into the video. So what we're going to do today is we've got the mannequin wet down already, and I'm just going to split the mannequin in half. So I'm working from that high point of the head, and I'll show you once I've just sectioned it out. You're able to see a piece of it now through there. And I'm going to follow that down on either side, down through there and then split it off front and back. So I'm just gonna jump in to show the sectionings on a drawing so you can make a note, screenshot it. Uh, if it gets in just a little bit clearer. Right, so section pattern is so easy. We're gonna just basically go from the high point and on this mannequin, it goes just behind the ear. So we'd be going down there to just behind that ear. And we're gonna section off front and back. And then once we've got it sectioned off like that, so draw a section also, sorry, straight down the middle to the back of the head. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna work from the middle of the ear to the occipital bone, section through there, another section through there, and then it's gonna travel down to there. And these pieces on the side that are here want to be coming straight down and sitting on the client's shoulders. Because then what we're doing is slightly over directing back which will maintain the length rather than going shorter around the front. Let's get into the sectioning pattern. So, like I said, section straight down the middle back. We're going to look at the middle of the ear to the occipital bone. Section off through there. Middle of the ear, got my finger on it there. That clip has met it. So there's our first section. I'm going to bring this up to around about there. So, just so you can still see. Can you see there? No. There we go. No matter how long you've been doing this, you still don't know the angles. So, there, let's take that off. Straight across there. And like I was talking about these side pieces, you don't want to be coming around the shoulders because you'll end up them being shorter. You want to bring them back and then cutting them square with the rest of that hair. And again, body position staying the same, combing down, bringing back into our line, using the comb as our as our ruler as such. And then again, like I said, really simple sections. Once the curvature of the head starts, we section there and then across there. And how do I know where this, the curvature starts? Put my comb there, just there. And you can see that head just starts to curve away from the comb, just there. Brush this down into our guide. Find our guide, kind of straight line. When we come to here, we bring it back to follow our guide. Because if we didn't bring that back and we cut it around here, again, it would be shorter. So on this side, you should be able to see so if I was to go here and cut, that would be short. If I brought it back here, I would lose that strength in that corner. So I grab it, pull it back to my guide, cut it in with the rest of the haircut. You can see how strong that line is in there. Let's drop this down, drop this down. And we've just got those little pieces on those ends. There, bring it back in, bring this in, through there. That's the back done. If we want to add layers, we can add layers. I don't want to. I want to keep that strength in that bob there. 
how nice and full that looks. So let's get onto the front now. We've got it separated front to back. Now what we want to do, we want to get a middle guide down this front. And what I did there, I had my finger behind the comb because it gives you the ability to draw in a perfect guide. See that? I'll do it again. So when we want to get a middle guide, I'll put my finger right in the middle, so the nose is there, right in the middle of that back section. I'll then get my comb and I'll draw through, and I've kept my finger there, that splits off to there. Keep my finger on that hair, draw that off there, and I've got a perfect middle guide. Shout out to Kai Wilson for that. Here's gonna be our first guide for this. So where I wanna take this now, I wanna take it to the lips to give it a really sort of uh, bangs, butterfly bangs, face frame look. So here's our first guide here. This is gonna dictate our length that's gonna come around the face. So I'm gonna use that chin as my guide. So that's about two inches, should I say? Just there, so that's taking that off. I now bring that section in that I had with my finger on, in with this. I then want to find that guide, which is right there. So there's the guide. I'm not quite going 45 degrees, but I'm not going 90 degrees. I'm going somewhere about 35 degrees. And I'm just cutting straight back there. And now what I want to do, is I want to bring all of this side section up to it, but in sections. So again, we're over directing and elevating up to that guide. I can see my guide straight through my fingers, just there. And then again, draw across there. Make sure I don't lose my guide. About 35 degrees. I can see my nice strong guide just there. Let's bring the rest of that up. So we've basically done what's that, four sections on this side. So we've done three at the back, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 sections to get this beautiful haircut. Here we go, really nice, strong guide there. 35 degrees, cut straight back. Now let's have a look at that already. That shape falling through there. There we go. So face framing Bob. Now we want to steal part of that section through there. And I'm going to bring in a piece from this side now. And I want to show you straight from the front where the hair actually travels to. So it comes up, doesn't come straight up, comes up and then over, because that maintains the length on the edges. So I can see my guide there, 35 degrees. I can see using that as a mirror that we're coming over this central point. And one thing to know, when you're looking for your guide, if you're someone who really struggles to find your guide, if it looks all over the place, all it means is your fingers aren't in the same position as they were. So I'm working at 35 degrees and I've got a really strong guide there. If I was working up here, that bottom is now shorter than the top. So you think, oh, my guide's wrong, or I've cut the bottom a bit shorter, I need to go back. Whereas if you just maintain that consistency, find it, it just falls into place, making sure we're over there, and your guide would always be strong. So here's my third section on this side. So we're bringing it up and over that middle. We drop it down, my guide gets stronger. And then this piece here, we probably won't really take much off, but that's good because we wanted to maintain that length. Now what you can see, is we just need to, hardly any, but there's just slightly bit from that back section, I'm just taking off dust, just to marry the front and the back. And again, push it straight down, 
we'll just nibble that off. And there we go. That's that haircut all done. So there we go, that's the haircut finished. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna blow dry it and I'll show you the finished result. So there we go guys, that is the finished result for the biggest. So there we go guys, that is the finished result, mate. So there we go guys, that is the finished result for the face framing bob. Big, big trend for 2023. Let me know in the comments down below if you like it. I've also done a video for the blow dry. If you wanna see how I've blow dried it, the video will be up very, very soon. So yeah, until next time, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and then give us a comment and we'll see you on the next video.